The successor to the Lamborghini Aventador J is here, and there have now been spy shots of it testing at the Nürburgring. Rumors say that the latest open top speedster from Lamborghini is based on the Aventador SVJ. It's not at all. I have gathered all my information that I've researched for hours, and everything is gonna be in today's video. Let's get into it. Perfect timing, look what we have. One Lamborghini Sion and two Lamborghini Sions. Now, if you're wondering why the deck lid is off of the car, well, we are making the world's first Lego Technic Lamborghini Sion with a fully functional rear deck lid, just as on this Lamborghini Sion right here. So what we are gonna do is make this deck lid on the Lego Lamborghini Sion open just like this. I'll be doing a full tutorial on it, so subscribe down below and ring the bell for it. So first we're gonna dive into everything we know about the Sion quote speedster, and then we're gonna go through all the photos of it being spied at the Nürburgring. Everybody has been saying, it's an Aventador SVJ. It's actually not. It's a Sion, and here's why. All right, so here we go, everything we need to know. So we don't actually know a ton, but everything that we know is in this video, and that is what we're gonna be discussing right now. So the photos of it have actually just been released. Now the only photos of it have only been the rear of it. There aren't actually any pictures of the front, and we don't need pictures of the front to determine that this is a Sion. We'll go into a little bit more details in a little bit, but if you wanna skip right here, that is where it's gonna be. Now this probably actually won't be called the Lamborghini Sion Speedster, just like the Aventador J is called the Aventador J, not the Aventador Speedster. We don't actually have a confirmed name yet, yet. but we're just going to dub it as the Lamborghini Sion Speedster. Now with all the photos that we have so far, it looks to be based on the Lamborghini Sion, but a bunch of people have been rumoring that this is based on the Aventador SVJ, but it's actually not, and we'll dive into more details in a little bit. Now this will probably use the same 6.5 liter naturally aspirated V12 that is found in all of the Aventador models. It'll basically probably have the newest version of the 6.5 liter V12, but also with the electric motors that give it more power. So there is a big probability that this car will have the powertrain of the Lamborghini Sion, which makes a total of 819 horsepower, 785 which is coming from the 6.5 liter V12, and 34 horsepower coming from the electric motors. But again, this is a possibility. It's not 100% confirmed yet. Yet. It also will probably come with the exact same drivetrain in all of the Lamborghini V12 models, just as the Aventador J came with the all-wheel drive from the Aventador. This will probably have the all-wheel drive drivetrain from the Sion. And it'll probably have the same seven-speed single-clutch automated manual gearbox found in the Aventador and Sion. Since this is a speedster, it doesn't actually look like this will have a real windscreen, but there will probably be a very, very tiny one just like on the Aventador J. It has an unannounced release date, but my theory is, is that it'll probably most likely be released at the 2021 Geneva Motor Show, which is in four to five months. This is gonna be rivaled with some newer open top speedsters such as the McLaren Elva, Aston Martin V12 Speedster, and the Ferrari Monza SP1 and SP2. Now, before we dive into all the photos, I actually do have one thing to mention before that. The wing you see in the back of the Sion Speedster is different from the normal Sion, just like the Aventador J's wing is much different from the standard Aventador LP700-4. The wing on the Sion Speedster actually looks stationary, just like the Aventador J's is stationary, and completely different from what's on the cars that it's originally based on. So this will basically have a totally reworked wing, just like the Aventador J is much different from the Aventador. All right, guys, that's basically all we know so far on the new Lamborghini Sion Speedster. Again, it probably won't be called the Sion Speedster, but that is just what we're gonna dub it for now. We're just gonna have to wait in a couple months when it is actually released, but this is everything you need to know on the Lamborghini Sion Speedster. Now we're gonna dive into the latest photos of it that have been spied at the Nürburgring. And we're also gonna tell you why this is a Sion and not an Aventador SVJ. Now, before we look at the pictures, we're gonna go through a little article that was from CarBuzz. So it says, new extreme Lamborghini spied testing. Is Lamborghini about to drop a new speedster on the market? Lamborghini has been at hard work of late testing, teasing, and releasing new models. The SE V12 was unveiled in July with the company's most powerful V12 ever. And the Aventador just crossed the 10,000 sales mark. So it's clear that the company is doing something right right now. Now Lamborghini is teasing fans with the new Aventador J, basically the success 
successor, a speedster right now of the pages of a sci-fi cartoon book. The Aventador has seen numerous iterations, including the high-performance SVJ, but this creation looks to take things to a new extreme. The Lamborghini Sion takes the Aventador to a new extreme. It's the most powerful Lamborghini ever. And right now we are going to talk about why this is a Sion and not an SVJ. So there's actually just one picture of the new Lamborghini Speedster being spied on the Nürburgring. And here it is. Now if you take a look, it does not have a windscreen at all. Now if we come to the back, you can clearly see that this does not have three Y-shaped taillights. It actually has three hexagonal shaped taillights just as on the Sion. And if you take a look at the wing, it actually does look very similar to an Aventador SVJ, but it's actually not. I've seen three SVJs in my entire life, and all of them did not look like this. This is totally different. Again, the Sion Speedster's wing is probably going to be different from the standard Sion, just like the Aventador J's wing is different from the standard Aventador. And here's an Aventador SVJ. If you look at it, it does not have three hexagonal taillights. It has three Y-shaped taillights. Now, if you do zoom in a little bit, it does have the central dual exhaust pipes just as on the spied picture. Yes, this has two central exhaust pipes, but they are actually placed higher than the Aventador SVJ. And if you look at it, they actually have hexagonal surrounding around the exhaust pipe just like on the real Sion. This is not an Aventador, again, this is a Sion. The diffuser is also very much different from the standard Sion. If you look at it, it does look bigger than the standard Sion. It does look similar to the Aventador SVJs, but it is not the Aventador SVJs. Again, I have seen it in person, and the Aventador SVJ is actually nothing like this. Now, if you take a look at the side of the Sion Speedster, it actually does look very similar to the Aventadors. If you can see the intake for the engine, it does look very similar to an Aventador's. The outtake near the rear fenders is also very similar to the Aventador. Now here is the standard Lamborghini Sion. That little outtake and intake also is very similar to the Aventador because that is what the Sion is based on, the Aventador. And right here is a rendering of the Lamborghini Sion Speedster. Again, on the spied picture, we don't actually have the front of it, but this is actually what the front might look like. I might be wrong, but I think it'll look extremely similar to the Sion. Maybe just a different front bumper, just like the Aventador J's is a different front bumper from the Aventador. There is a little windscreen, there is no roof, just like as on the spied picture. The intake and outtake looks very similar to the spied picture. So overall, is this a Sion Speedster? Yes, it is a Sion Speedster. This is not an Aventador SVJ Speedster. But that is all for the spied pictures and renderings of the Sion Speedster. If you guys think I'm wrong about this, give me a very good reason and leave it in the comments below. This is a Sion Speedster, and we will be seeing it most likely at the 2021 Geneva Motor Show. All right, that's basically it for the Sion Speedster, and today's video is coming to an end. If you did like it, please give it a like down below. Subscribe to the channel because we will have a lot of car vlogs coming your way. Tomorrow is actually a Cars and Coffee. Last time I got to ride in a manual Lamborghini Murcielago. All right, we're inside a Murcielago. The gated shifting noise is unreal. One of the coolest experiences I've ever had. Lifts open. And the time before that, there was a 1,900 horsepower twin turbo Dodge Viper ACR. And this Dodge Viper right here makes 1,900 horsepower. You hear this? It's going to be crazy, so subscribe and stay tuned. Again, what do you guys think about the new Sion Speedster? I think it's actually going to be based on the Sion. If you think I'm wrong, leave it in the comments below. But anyway, we're out in 3, 2, 1. Nineteen hundred horsepower. I like the speedsters. Three SVJs instead of. But anyway, we're out in three, two, one. Oh shoot! I dropped the camera.